So I'm going to show you guys real quick some examples of adding and subtracting polynomials. So you're going to get into, and this is addition and subtraction of polynomials. You're going to get into operations of polynomials. And operations in mathematics should basically addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Starting with addition and subtraction, you can add or subtract any type of uh, polynomial. They can have different terms, the same number of terms, whatever. So let's just do a couple of examples because this is not very difficult. Example one, we'll do 2x to the third minus 5x squared plus 3. This trinomial, three terms of third degree. And I want to add to that 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. I'm going to add to that another trinomial of second degree. So, you know, to add and subtract polynomials, you want to think about like terms. You want to basically find what we call like terms. And like terms have the same variable. You want like terms. The same variable, but um, uh, the same exponent on that variable. Doesn't have, the ha doesn't have to have the same coefficient, but has to have the same variable and same exponent. So I'll show you what I mean. First... Um, when I have parentheses, I'm going to take them down, and anytime I have something in front of parentheses, I will go ahead and distribute that. But if I'm adding polynomials, there's nothing here to distribute, so I could just straight up take them down. Okay. Now, I'm showing all my work. You could technically skip this step once you practice and you get it down. Like terms. So let's go with um, the highest exponent first, 2x to the third. I want to go and put my uh, final addition, my final sum in standard form. So... I'm going to start with 2x to the third, and there's nobody that, you know, is like that one. He's alone, so he's pretty much just going to come down. And the next highest exponent is a 5x squared, and here's another x squared term. So I have two terms that include an x squared, which means they are like terms. And I have negative 5 plus 2. So we're going to deal with the coefficients now. Negative 5 plus 2 is minus 3. And I'm going to maintain the variable portion, 3x squared. So I'm not adding exponents. I'm not doing anything to the exponents if I'm just adding two terms. I deal with the coefficients, and I maintain that variable portion. Um, the next piece here, so I have a second degree, would be this one. And there's nobody to go mine him with. So he's going to come down by himself, negative 4x. And then last but certainly not least, I have two constant terms a positive 3 and a, a positive 6, and they can be combined into a plus 9. And here is my final sum, no like terms left to combine. It is in standard form, which is what I want. It's a third degree polynomial. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, 3 variable terms, 1 constant term. But this is the sum of these two trinomials. So, you know, not too bad, not too difficult, right? I'm going to do one with um, subtraction, and then I'll stop there. 7x to the 6th minus 4x to the 5th plus 6x squared minus 2x plus 3. This is a long polynomial. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. And I want to subtract from that this other polynomial, which has 3x to the 5th minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. This polynomial has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So I'm taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 terms, and I'm subtracting 4 terms. This is a 6th degree polynomial, a 5th degree polynomial, and I'm subtracting. And the only difference between subtraction and addition is the fact that now there is something in front of these parentheses, which has to distribute to every term within the second polynomial. This has to go into every single term within the second polynomial. It's like saying negative one times this. So when I bring down my parentheses, there's nothing in front of here, so I could just bring these down. 4x to the fifth plus 6x squared minus 2x plus 3. I now have to distribute this negative, which is going to change every single sign here, minus 3x to the fifth, minus minus, which becomes a plus 2x squared, minus 3x and then plus 1, right? Minus, minus. So now I have this basic thing here, which now is, I just have to combine like terms, that's all that's left. But I want my final result to be in standard form, correct? So I'm going to go with the highest exponent 
which has this one, right, x to the 6, nothing higher than that, and see if it has any friends or um, like terms that have an x to the 6 as well. But it doesn't look like I have any of those. None of my other terms have an x to the 6, so I'm just going to bring that down. My next highest exponent is a fifth, and I have one of them here and one of them here. So I have two terms that include the x to the fifth. So those are like terms. So I'm going to work the numbers in front, the coefficients. A negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. And then I'm going to maintain the x to the fifth. I'm not going to combine the exponents or anything like that. Work the coefficients, maintain the variable portion. Um, what's next? I have a fifth degree. Do I have a fourth degree? No fourth degree. Any third degree? No. Nope. The highest exponent that's next is a second degree. So now we'll combine those. Two second degree polynomial uh, terms, right? I have six, a plus six, and a plus two. So six of them plus two of them is eight of them. Maintain the variable portion. Um, what's next? Let me find another color here. All right, I have negative 2x and a negative 3x. Those are like terms. They both have just an x to the first power. Negative 2, negative 3 combined to give me negative 5 when I am adding them. Maintain the variable. And then this part is easy, right? A 3 and a 1. Constant terms, two constant terms will combine to give me a positive 3 and a positive 1, a positive 4. And now I have my final difference of these two polynomials. It is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 term polynomial. It is a 6 degree polynomial expression. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 variable terms and one constant term. And that's it for addition and subtraction. Not bad.